In this problem, we want to find our four basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So we're given two functions. We're given f of x is equal to 3 plus 2 over x. And g of x is equal to 2 over x. Okay. First thing we want to find is f plus g. So we'll put parentheses around each function, put a plus between them. Now in this case, these parentheses aren't doing anything. Um, and I notice that th this has the same denominator as that. Since these both have x as a denominator, we can add together the top parts. So this becomes 3 plus 4 over x. Now we want to merge this into a single fraction. And this is a mixed number form. So we're going to take the number that's out in front, multiply times the denominator, and add the top part. So we're going to take 3 times x, and then we'll add the number up on top. And our denominator stays the same. So again, what I did, took the number out in front, multiplied times the denominator, added the top part. So that gives us 3x plus 4 over x for f plus g. Now f minus g. Again, we'll put parentheses around each one of them and put a minus between them. Now in this one, since these both have the same denominator, and this negative will flip a sign of that, uh, when I combine these together, I got 2 minus 2, which is 0 over x, which drops away. So we just get up with 3. Now for multiplication, again, I'll put parentheses around them and put them next to each other. Now this is a distributive property. So we're going to take 2 over x times 3 and 2 over x times 2 over x. Well, 2 over x times 3 gives us 6 over x. And 2 over x times 2 over x, 2 times 2 is 4, and x times x gives us x squared. Now we need to get a common denominator, which would be x squared. Now our second fraction already has that x squared, so we leave it alone. But our first one, we multiply the bottom part by x, we multiply the top part by x. So 6 times x gives us 6x. So then that gives us 6x plus 4 over x squared. We can merge it into a single fraction since they have the same denominator. And last operation is f divided by g. Again, there's no need to really put parentheses here. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, but the fraction symbol separates it. So I'm going to have 3 plus 2 over x all over 2 over x. Now this is a complex fraction, specifically a complex rational expression, but a complex fraction. And the easiest way to get rid of a complex fraction is to multiply everything by the LCM of all your inner denominators. Now when I say inner denominators, I'm talking about the, see this inside fraction here? It's got its own denominator, this x. So that's an inner denominator. And this is an inner denominator. So we got x and x, so our LCM would be x. So we multiply everything by x. So multiply it by the 3, multiply it by the 2 over x up on top, and multiply it times the 2 over x on the bottom. Well, 3 times x is 3x. Here these x's would cancel, here these x's are going to cancel. So we left with plus 2 over 2. And that's our answer.